Hi everyone, Amy here from Never Grow Up Vacations, and now it's time to come fly with Amy. I'm back in Orlando, I'm here in Disney World. Surprise, surprise. Yes, I know I was just here a month ago, but I can never get enough. There's just so much to do in the Orlando area. This trip, I'm staying for two nights only. Yes, it's a quick little trip, but I'm staying at the Margaritaville Resort in Orlando. And I feel like I am on vacation because I am, but also because this resort is so beautiful. Today, I'm gonna to give you a room tour. I have a two queen bed room. I have a deluxe view, which is also a pool view. So I'm gonna give you a tour of this room and I hope you enjoy it. So here we get the front door. Um, this is an external hallway, so out this door is open air. It's not in a building. Um, off to your right, right as you come in, you do have a large closet, which does have your standard um, luggage rack, a couple hangers, ironing board, iron safe is also in there as well. And then off to your other side is your bathroom. Hello. I love some of the details. So first and foremost, double sinks. All my ladies know just how important double sinks are, but look at the detail of those faucets. They're like little fish fins. How cute, right? I love it. And they all, the whole Margaritaville Resort has their Saint Somewhere Spa um, line of bath products, which looks really nice. I'm sure it smells like the ocean. So you do have a really nice vanity here plenty of storage down below and then you also have your shower here beautiful i love the color of this tiling it's just such a beachy feel and as you can see um there is a rainfall shower there how nice will that be and then when you come around you do have your commode area so you have the separate door, so it's real nice and secluded. You got your little um, <laughs> Jimmy Buffett inspired artwork. I love that, it's so fun. Just your standard toilet area here. And we come back around out of the bathroom. We're gonna view the actual room itself. I like all the little Caribbean-like um, decor and whatnot. Obviously this resort is super tropical. Um, which just makes it that much better. And here is the room. Wow. I am a sucker for ceiling fans in hotels, especially in the state of Florida. As y'all know, it gets so humid here. It's like disgusting. And I am a ceiling fan kind of girl. Even in Alaska, give me a ceiling fan because I just like that natural airflow. So you do have two beds here. I also want to show you, hopefully you can see this on the camera, the detail. See those little, um, parrots like how cute is that detail and you do have your changes in latitude changes in the attitude pillows again some more caribbean inspired artwork i like the ship lap looking headboard super fun um, you do also have this nice little handy tablet um, which you can use to talk to guest services that is also functioning as your weather machine and also your alarms so that's pretty high tech very cool and then over here, you do have some drawer space. You do have some waters that come with the room, which in Florida, you need some waters all the time. And then over here, you have this cute little seaplane, which I know my hubs, Corey, would love. You do have a Keurig, and down here, a beverage cooler. Um, it's small, it's not your normal fridge. It's basically just for beverages, so keep that in mind. And then the best part of this house, we'll call it a house, is the patio. Looks like it might storm here in Florida. What else is new? You do have two loungers, which I will be sitting on tonight. Thank you. Ooh, it's humid. It's definitely gonna storm soon. Everyone's evacuating the pool. So this is a pool view room. This is the smaller of the two pools. As we look over that direction, that's where the main pool is. And I'm actually gonna go explore that here in just a little bit. But as you can see, all of these Rooms have balconies and they all have their nice Adirondack chairs. There is tons of construction going on. It looks like they might be adding on some more cottages. And that's what you can see over those colorful buildings. Those are your rentals, your cottages. So a couple different things. So people actually buy them and own them and then they can rent them out. And then some 
Um, you can rent through the property as well. But if you have a large family, that's a great option for you because they come with multiple bedrooms, multiple bathrooms. Some of them, as you can see, are couple stories. So if you have a larger party, really great option. They do have free theme park shuttles um, to the main theme parks here to Disney World. Um, they also have a water park. It is a little bit of an additional fee. I don't think I'll be doing that this trip just because I do have some limited time here. Um, plenty of bars, plenty of restaurants. I'm gonna go check that out and get some pictures and some content in just a moment. Um, but really excited about this stay here at Margaritaville. Now let's tour the rest of the property. Let's take a look at the portico share. Here you can double park and check in and even unload your bags. Valet parking is available and self parking is available for no extra cost. And now it's time to check in. The friendly staff are waiting for you right outside the lobby. They even give you a handy wristband that functions as both your room key and your charging privileges. Also located in the lobby is the Margaritaville store. Be sure to stop by for all your sundry needs as well as any merchandise and souvenirs. Right past the store, you'll run into Euphoria, which is the bar and restaurant. This is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They even have some additional entertainment at night in the bar. The main lobby is the perfect place to relax and unwind. This comfy space has vacation vibes all day and all night. Lost your margarita glass? It happens. It might be located here in Margaritaville Orlando's main lobby, which features a chandelier made of margarita glasses. Also located in the main lobby is Provisions, which is the quick service dining location. Currently, this is open for breakfast and lunch only. Margaritaville Orlando has two large pools. These pools are available for use for both hotel guests and cottage guests. There is also a bar slash restaurant called the Salty Rim, which is great for lunchtime dining. Ready to unwind? Be sure to check out the St. Somewhere Spa located right on property. This spa features all types of massage, facials, hair and nail treatments, in addition to a brand new IV lounge. This is new to the Orlando area. Speaking of cottages, did you know these were available for rent at Margaritaville Orlando? Each cottage has between two and eight bedrooms, a full kitchen, and then a plunge pool and or hot tub. Plus, they're pet friendly too. Still need more to do? Sunset Walk is just a quick walking distance away from the resort. Sunset Walk features multiple dining and entertainment venues. I had the best stay at Margaritaville Orlando. I can't wait to come back. Hope you enjoyed my tour today, and until next time, happy travels!